So here in this problem, again, we've got three side lengths. We want to find the largest angle first. So the largest angle is going to be across from the largest side, and the largest side is C. So I'm going to have C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of angle C. And the reason we're finding the largest angle first is because when we use that law of sines in the next step, we want to avoid having an ambiguous case. So here we've got C squared, that's going to be 12 squared, equals 11 squared plus, oh see, I was going to do 5 squared in my head, plus 5 squared minus 2 times 11 times 5 times the cosine of C. Now when the numbers are smaller like this, it's almost impossible for me not to just put 144 equals 121 plus 25 minus 55 twice is 110 times the cosine of C. And this I think is kind of important because I've got 146 on the right hand side. So I've got 144 equals 146 minus. Remember that that 110 is attached by multiplication to the cosine of C. Sometimes that's a mistake we make. We subtract 146 from both sides and we get negative 2 equals negative 110 times the cosine of C. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 110 and I get the cosine of angle C is equal to 2 over 110. C is going to equal the inverse cosine of 2 over 110. I put that into my calculator and I got approximately 89.0 degrees. Approximately 89.0 degrees. So now that angle C is found, I can say angle A, actually can't do that yet. We need to do 11 over the sine of A is equal to 5 over the sine of B is equal to 12 over the sine of C. And C is stored. So store this. We're going to do some cross multiplication. And I'm going to solve for A first. I don't know why I like to go alphabetically, but I do. So A or sometimes I just go left to right. So left to right, alphabetically. Sometimes I go numerically too, but a, a is going to equal, when you cross, multiply, and divide, of course you're going to be using this ratio set equal to this ratio so that you can set up that proportion, cross, multiply, divide, and we're gonna get A is approximately a is approximately 66.4 degrees. And then, now, I can say angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. When I take 180, subtract 89, subtract 66.4, I get angle B is approximately 24.6 degrees. So A is approximately 66.4. B is approximately 24.6, and C is approximately 89.0 degrees. Now, I'm going to do a quick check. Is C, which is my biggest angle, across from the biggest side? Check. The smallest angle is B. Is that the smallest side? Is B the smallest side? Check. Therefore, I feel pretty good that this is a good answer right here. Now, in the next problem, we are going to look at the case of the included angle. But when we do that, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. That's pretty gruesome, pretty gruesome saying. Kill two birds with one stone. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna to linger too long on that because that's, that's gruesome. Um, the pitcher's mound, we got a word problem. We're gonna be talking about an angle there that's between two side lengths. And potentially right here, we've got an angle we're probably going to have two side lengths about a ship, its departure. Um, so we're going to practice the, the side angle side situation with word problems.